Bold Live is live. Hello, Bold and Livers, and welcome to Bold Live. Viewers react. Boy, what a week it's been for the bold and the beautiful. Just when you think you know what's happening, you don't know what's happening. It's another twist. It's a roller coaster. I mean, and I'm so excited to be here to talk to you all about it. Um, I'm Casey Kasperzik, supervising producer for The Bold and the Beautiful, and your host of Bold Live, the only show in Soap World where an actual producer from the soap opera is here to talk to you, the people that keep us in business. So I'm so excited to talk to all of you here on Bold Live. It all happens live in three, two, one. Boom. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bold Live. I have to tell you, uh, whoa, what was that? This is going to be an exciting show because there are already, uh, I think, the most people we've ever had on Bold Live live in the waiting room. Uh, I just want to take a chance to say hi to everybody who's been waiting. Thank you so much for waiting. We had a little bit of a, you know, it's Bold Live, so of course there's going to be a little technical glitches, but that's, that's how it works here. Um, uh, let me see. Okay. Oh, I already think I already think I lost. I already think I lost the guest that was waiting. Anyway, I'm gonna have to send you that link back, uh, Michael, if you're watching. Uh, hey, everybody, what's going on? I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, wow. Okay. Hello. I don't. Just going by so fast. I can't say say hi to you guys. Uh, Blondie, T Brownie, Savannah. Oh, James, how is it going? James Log, good to see you. Uh, Kasingle, Rebecca, hey, Rebecca. Lacey, yes, Lacey, my fabulous uh, host last time. Uh, Mona, hi, Mona. Good to see you guys. Candice, we'll be talking to Candice a little bit later, and Matt. Um, whoo, wow. Um, you know, it is very, very hot here in Los Angeles. I don't know if you, any of you are here in uh, LA. I know you're probably thinking, oh, poor people in Los Angeles. Yes, with our weather. Well, this is like scorching hot. And I think it's only fitting because the bold and the beautiful has been on fire, but maybe not as on fire as all of you in social media land. Um, you guys have lit it up and thank you. Thank you, because without you, without you watching the show, without you caring about the show, without talking about the show, there's no show. So thank you very much for all of that. Um, I want to get to the phone lines because I want to hear your feedback. It's not so much uh, not so much asking questions. Uh, there, uh, to, to, there may be a surprise guest, but it's not so much talking to the actors on the show, this, this special Bold Live Spring Break edition. Um, but, uh, more about getting your feedback. You know what? Oh my gosh. I didn't get my coffee. I made my coffee, but then I ran out of time. Huh. I don't know how I'm going to get through the show without my coffee. Um, let's see. So what do I want to talk about? Um, I think this week definitely will go down as one of the most talked about weeks in bold and beautiful history. I think, I think so. Um, I, 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 and I'm also, I'm not going to, I'm not going to confirm or deny when you call in, I'm not going to confirm or deny if this was the week where I said bold and beautiful would never be the same. Now notice what I said, bold and beautiful will never be the same. That is different than, uh, uh, the bold and beautiful will, will change forever. Okay, that's not, I didn't say the bold and beautiful will change forever. I said the bold and beautiful will never be the same. So, um, and I think, I think a lot of us can agree, but I'm not going to confirm or deny. That's up to you to decide. Um, but I also want to talk about why Bold Live exists. So Bold Live exists because this is an opportunity for us to celebrate and talk about the show we love, the bold and the beautiful. This is a this is a place where um, what why do we watch the bold and the beautiful to begin with? To be entertained for for uh, you know escapism to to look, follow our stories 
to, to have fun. That's the whole part of the soap opera genre, to fall in love with characters, to get mad at people. You know, that's just part of the genre. So you know that going in, that there's going to be ups and downs. And Bold Live is an extension of that. Um, as an op and, and this is a unique opportunity for all of you who are there in the chat room or in the comment section chatting about the show and having your opinions and to all connect. So we have this show so that we can, uh, wow, 336 people watching. Woo, this is, a, this is a hot show. But anyway, this is an opportunity. If you're new, I, I think we have a lot of new people. And if you're just joining Bold Live for the first time, welcome. Uh, we've got a lot of shows on our Bold and Beautiful YouTube channel. And while you're, if you're here for the first time, go ahead and click subscribe. Uh, so you'll be in the know and all the old episodes of Bold and Beautiful are getting posted daily on our YouTube channel so you can catch up from the very first episode. Um, but I think what's great about this is this is a place where we come and uh, talk about the show. So, and I love interacting with the fans and I love hearing the feedback. Okay, I like the feedback. I like, uh, you know, like I said, this is, you are who we do it for. This is, this is our audience. This is what we live for. Um, and I, yeah, I see you, Michael, in the waiting room. Thank you so much. We're going to get to you very shortly. Um, and I just wanted to share a story about my very first, like, fan interaction with the Bold and the Beautiful. And this is, I don't have coffee to drink, but I, but I, I'm like, you would think I have coffee in here. I don't have coffee in there. Um, back when I was, uh, at the front desk here at the Bold and the Beautiful, a fan called in, okay? And she was very upset. She was very upset. And I, I tried to calm her down and she said, <clears throat> she said, why is the fireplace on in the middle of the summer? So apparently in the Forrester living room, there was a scene and the fireplace was on and it's summertime in LA where it's you know hot, you don't run the fireplace. So she was very upset that in the scene, the fireplace was on. Now, there's different reasons why a fireplace may be on. It creates uh, atmosphere. Um, it's symbolic of uh, like a relationship. There's different reasons why the fireplace might be on. And I tried, you know, to listen to her and maybe try to reason. But what I learned from that call was that listen to the fans because sometimes, sometimes they're right. Sometimes they have a point. And, um, and they just want somebody to talk to. And that was where I felt like my role began way back in 2003. So you know what? The fan maybe had a point. Like, why was the fireplace on? I don't know. Maybe the director wanted it on. Maybe the writers wrote that the fireplace is on. I don't know. But even still, that was the fireplace story. So brings us to today to Bold Live. And um, uh, I'm really excited because this week I've made a lot of new friends. Yeah, I've made a lot of new friends. And um, one particular person, uh, his name is Michael. Uh, I was interacting with him on Twitter. He was like one of the first to like really have a big reaction to this week's storyline. Now, to recap what happened this week. Well, we don't need to waste time about what happened. So let me just, without further ado, bring on our first guest. Uh, and it's my first time meeting him. His name is Michael Mortimer. Hello, Michael. Hi, Casey. Ugh, oh, I didn't get my coffee. What's wrong with that? You well, need to go get it. I need I and nobody's here. We're on hiatus. Nobody's hello, nobody's here. And I, I can't I, it's all the way on the other side, but it's okay. Thank you for being here, Michael. You're welcome. So uh we didn't have a bold live last week. I know. So I apologize for that. But um, that's all right. But I felt like we needed a bold life today to sort of like break this all down. So now, Michael, how long have you been a fan of the Bold and Beautiful? From day one. Okay. So what? So you know, you know the Bold and the Beautiful inside and out. Um, not as well as Matt Hamby, but pretty close. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. So what, what was your reaction to uh, Sheila shooting Finn and then taking Steffi out? Dirty. Very dirty. Uh, what? 
<laughs> so, well, now, Michael, we talked a little bit about like, this is almost like you've had a, a week processing all this. So uh, what, like you've kind of gone through the different stages of grief. Correct. And I'm still grieving. Yeah. So what, so, so what, can you believe, um, can you believe uh, that Sheila would actually do this to her own son? No, because her entire history, she is, all she's ever wanted was a family. So yeah. now she has a family and she ruined it. I mean, crossing from boy and art to bold and beautiful, she just, she's never, she's never really belonged. And now she finally has a son and you know, she wants a relationship with him, wants a relationship with him, but it doesn't work out because her emotions get in the way always. Right. When she gets backed into a corner, she does diabolical things. That's just Sheila. That's what she does. And I think of all the things that she's ever done, this has to be her biggest regret. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even sure that Finn is really dead at this point, based on hmm. Lee's reaction. Now, I know, you know, um, Lee's reaction, she's not hysterical, she's not crying, she's not anything but mad at somebody, at Sheila. Hmm. So, I don't know what to think. Um, Sheila's just, she's a mess. And I think... <laughs> She's had a psychotic break. I think she knows that she did it, but then the reality is she's not quite so sure when, when she goes back to her hotel room and brushes her hair in the mirror. Like, mm -hmm. I don't understand that. Right. Okay. Well, um, what, what, what has been your interaction with other fans on, uh, on Twitter? Um, pretty positive for the sin, for the hashtag sin fans. I mean, we, you know, we're, we're all in the same mindset where we can't believe that the writers did this and to, and what we don't want is the, is the steam triangle again. We've had that for a decade and we don't want that. So, okay. So Michael, so let Michael, me back that up. So are you, are you, are you a sin fan? Yes, very much. You're a Sin fan. So what is it about this, Sin that you that that Steffi and and Finn that you love you love? Just because it's refreshing. And when you look at everybody's timeline on everybody's reaction on this, it's like this the the, the Steffi and Finn um relationship. I mean, really, Casey, it was only it's it's only been two years. So it's really fresh for all of us. And to get off the merry-go-round of Steffi, of Steffi, mm -hmm. Finn, and 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 Hope, or, or, I'm sorry, Steffi and Liam and Hope, to, we, we we went off that merry-go-round. It's it's just it's been done over and over and over again. And so to have somebody like Finn come in and treat Steffi the way she deserves to be treated, and not waffle back and forth with the waffler, right? Um, known as Liam, we 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 want that. We want more stability with Steffi. We don't want the instability between the back and forth. We, we don't want that anymore. But now, were you, did, once Finn was killed, did that make you a bigger Sin fan or the same amount of Sin fan? Bigger. Bigger. I did mean, it, it crazy. unleashed, it, did it unleash the feelings you didn't know you had? No, I've always had them. But yeah. when 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 we first re, when we first interacted last week on Twitter, I said I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more wine, and I literally lost sleep for like three days. I could wow. not sleep. That's how invested in the show I am. Yeah. I mean, I've been watching since the first day. Michael, where, where now? Where are you? What where where do you live? I'm in Pittsburgh. All right, nice. Um, uh, have you always lived in Pittsburgh? Uh, yeah for for my adult life, yeah. All right. Very cool. Um, well, where do you think, where do you think this is going? What is, what is, if you could look into a crystal ball, what, or what would you like happen? Well, here's what I think. My theory is, is that 
Finn had an out of body experience where the paramedics in the alley couldn't get it, couldn't get a pulse or it was really faint and they covered his face really quickly and they just whisked him away like that was it and then we ne we haven't seen him since then so my thing is is that Lee came up from downstairs she's already a doctor she's a doctor too so she's the one to save Finn somehow that's why when she came up to the elevator and was talking to everybody, she's she talks about him in present tense, not past tense. Mm -hmm. She talks about him like she's still alive. Like, I'm going to save my son today. Um, he's my son. I'm going to take care of him now. Well, what's to take care of? He's dead, if he's dead. So her, her verbiage isn't, isn't actually adding up to, to mm -hmm. what um, the writers or Brad wants us all to believe. It's just not adding up. That's my theory. So my theory is he's still alive. And he basically mumbled to his mother, like very faintly, that Sheila did this. And that's why that's why Lee is so upset. It's just, it's it's not adding up. Okay. So I think Ben wants to to keep it away from from Steffi that that Sheila so or, you, or from So from you're keeping you're did. keeping hope alive that that somehow Finn survived. I mean, I, based on what I've read in the print and everything. Now, what do you think is going to happen to Sheila? <sighs> I don't know, because Sheila always gets away. I mean, she, she always has a way to, I mean, she always has a way to, of, of escaping. And with Lieutenant Baker being there today with what aired today, I thought Sheila was going to crack. Mm -hmm. Because Sheila got very nervous around Lieutenant Baker today. And I thought she was going to crack, but she didn't. So maybe what's happening, uh, what's going to happen soon, um, maybe she'll crack. But I, I don't think so. I think she'll be on the run for a while. All right. Well, Michael, I really appreciate uh, you taking time to be here on Bold Live and uh, being a fan of the show. And, uh, and like I said, like you've been, you've, you've watched the show a long time, you know, from the beginning, you know, that, um, that anything can happen. I do. And we all know, I mean, Taylor's been brought back from, from the dead a couple of times when we, when we all thought she, she was, she was gone for good and she wasn't mm. now. So honestly, um, the way the writing is right now, even though Everybody wants us to believe that that Tanner that Tanner slash Finn is gone from the show for now. I still I still believe somewhere down the line um, he will reappear in some capacity. I'm not sure I'm not sure what, but but I've watched soaps too long to to, to completely say um, you know that he's completely dead. All right. Well, Michael, um, we will keep this conversation going. Thank you for being here and representing. Team Sin, and you're uh, welcome. And um, I'll be chatting with you more on Twitter. I'll do it again anytime you want. You got it. Sure. Deal. All right, we'll talk to you. We'll check in in a couple weeks. Thank you. All right, bye, my bye, Michael. Talk to you soon. Bye. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, give it up for Michael. First time being here on Bold Live, and it was a pleasure meeting him. Um, I am gonna now invite in. I'm gonna open the phone lines very soon. And uh, we'll go over time on this one, but I'm going to uh, bring in our super fans, our super Candace fans. and Matt. Hello, guys. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Would it be rude of me to run to the kitchen to get my coffee? Go ahead. We got this. Okay. Can you take over? You guys, you guys chat. Yeah, I'll we, be right we, back. We got this. All <laughs> right, everybody. <laughs> this is how good me and Matt are. So, Matt, how, how was your week? Um, it was good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, and hashtag safe Finn. We're reading it. Uh. Yeah, hashtag safe Finn. I'm reading all the comments. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? I, I'm going to say something. Wait, Casey said earlier about you know we're you know we watch soaps for the entertainment, and yeah, we go on this a roller coaster of emotions. Sometimes you know we get really mad at the show. It's like, oh my God, like, why did you do this? And other times we're like, yay, they did this. Da, 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 da. 
here's the thing. That shows how passionate soap fans are. Because seriously, what other genre has that? Just saying. Well, sports fans. <laughs> but that's a whole different story. So, I don't know. Let me just... <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> you know, we're just talking about soap fans. <laughs> All right. So, and Matt, talking about our a, week. You, you know, uh, Michael gave you a shout out there. He says, you know, he's not as big a fan as you. <laughs> what did you think about that? Um, well, that was nice, but I mean, I'm six foot seven, so technically I'm the biggest fan, uh, oh, wow. right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, your, your head's and tails above us all. Um, <laughs> uh, so, so, though, Matt, as somebody who knows the ins and outs of Sheila Carter, where uh, well, you know, I found that poll you did interesting because. Sheila shooting Finn was not technically the worst thing she's done because that was technically an accident, um, kind of like Brooke and Taylor. She, they were struggling for the yeah. gun. I would say the fact that Steffi oh. was on her knees in front of her wanting to call for help and Sheila shot her point blank and then left her and her son there yeah. probably is what makes this the worst thing she's ever done. And I... I my jaw was creepy. on the floor when I read that. Like, I'm like... well. Wait, yeah, I was what? like, and the, the creepiness what? of her, I mean, when, back in 2002, when Sheila uh, kissed her daughter yes. in the prison was mm -hmm. very disturbing, but this took it to a whole new level because she literally kissed Finn too, and but he was lying there dying after she just shot him, so that was like, <laughs> I, I love the dark, twisted stuff, so like, uh, I mean, I absolutely love it. I am I mean, I love Finn, so I'm sad to see him gone. And I'm also very nervous about what's going to happen to Sheila because I'm not sure how she gets out of this. But as far as just how completely twisted and dark this all is, I love it. I And Kimberlyn's work, like even the scenes where she's by herself in the mirror, like brushing her hair and just like screaming and going crazy. Like it's... Uh, and that was something Kimberlyn <laughs> added about the hairbrush. She really wanted to do that... Um, Emotion well, and, I, I, well, and smearing was, smearing the lipstick that was all that was all kimberly she <laughs> she is amazing uh <laughs> yeah i don't even <laughs> i mean I nobody else can pull this did. off but kimberly brown nobody exactly. else no. <laughs> that's that's um uh do you guys remember anything about the bottle switching <laughs> but, <laughs> no no right we've we've forgotten about the bottle switching Oh right, no! Well, I mean, just... I still remember that. Right. It was just—it's it, just—it's—it's it's one of those things we... where you know how it started. <laughs> well, it seems like child's play now. Because... Right. That's right. what I—that's what I mean. More like child's play now. Okay. She but... went from like. <laughs> it went from switching bottles. Well, okay. I remember like my sister told me she like actually teared up watching the Christmas episodes because like Sheila yes. actually got a chance, you know, with Hayes and it was like, Oh, like Sheila, maybe she really has changed, but it's just, she went from <laughs> zero to a hundred. And <laughs> yeah, it was just boom. Like, I mean, I know we were all laughing. It was like, Sheila said she's changed, but then she had a gun with a silencer on her. <laughs> okay. So I just want to break this exactly. down. I just want to break this down. So, so, <laughs> Steffi goes to confront Sheila at Il Giardino. Uh -huh. Sheila says, "Go, leave me alone." Goes into the alley. <laughs> they have wow. a, They have an argument for mm, two episodes. <laughs> they oh are in, in, in the alley, um, uh, she shoves Steffi into the garbage. Uh, which, by the way, some behind the scenes, there was a stunt uh, person who was uh, Steffi when she was shoved into the dumpster because Jacqueline yeah. McKinnis Wood is pregnant so we couldn't actually right. shove Jackie into the dumpster which had <laughs> foam on it. So I saw some things on there like, oh my gosh, Steffi's pregnant. Well, <laughs> Jackie's pregnant, yeah. not Steffi, Jackie's but pregnant. still, so we took precautions there. So then, and then um, after Sheila's had enough of uh, Steffi, um, turns somehow, oh, is always traveling with a uh, handgun in her uh, purse, <laughs> goes to fire off at uh, Steffi and accidentally shoots Finn. Oof. And then once Finn's out, out, decides, I better take out Steffi, makes it look like a robbery gone wrong, <laughs> and there we are. Nobody, No witnesses, no cameras. Well, 
And that's the thing too, because like back in the day when Sheila shot Stephanie, like she shot her in the back. And then Taylor and Brooke were all struggling for the gun, but it was like yeah. Sheila just <laughs> Sheila just Ooh, straight up. <laughs> just wanted to recap it, but you guys, if you could say something to Kimberlyn right now, what would you say? <laughs> um, okay, I, I can say it. Brilliant performance. I already said next year, Emmy Real, Emmy Submission. Now with Sheila, <laughs> with Sheila, okay, make sure I got like a guard, make sure I, I'm five minutes away. With Sheila, I'm just like, Mm, mm, mm. And Casey, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you said earlier. You better not have her on the phone. I better not what? You, be you better not have her nowhere near. <laughs> like on the phone. Wait, what? <laughs> so I said, don't don't tell me that she's like on the phone or that she's nearby. Oh yeah, she's <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh yeah, I am. I knew it. Yes. I am. I'm. I'm running right now, cross country, to try and get away because I'm sure people are looking for me. Ladies oh, and yeah. gentlemen, the one and only Kimberlyn Brown. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hi there. <laughs> I've been following you on Instagram all your your journey. Uh... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just sent a bunch of pictures to my daughter to post from uh, Teddy Roosevelt national park in north dakota the badlands it was just spectacular wow. so hopefully those get posted a little bit later but uh it's a good thing that we have this distance between us yeah. given what you're talking about yeah or i would become an after i would become an after you girlfriend again <laughs> again i would be like a couple of hours ahead i already like got the whole you know preparation just in case but no oh, i mean you know what? Hands but, but, down, some yeah. good good work this week. This these couple of episodes well, we definitely have shown to newer fans. I will I will say this to us fans who have been watching you for over thirty years. You are still that queen villain. For new viewers, uh, they you. now understand uh -oh. why we say Sheila Carter is that villain. <laughs> we lost your video, Kimberlyn. Oh no. See if I can get you. There back. we go. There, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> Well, okay. well, thank you yeah. so so much for your compliments, though. I really appreciate it. the uh, The scenes with Jackie were just uh, they were awesome. They were yeah. awesome leading up to now, to everything. So. Now, now, Kimberlyn, I I know we talked when you got the episodes and you saw the material that you were you were really kind of heartbroken because you were really enjoying exploring this relationship with uh, Finn. Yes. I was, I was, when I got the script, I was like, wow, um, we haven't really even scratched the surface yet. So that, you know, as, as an actress, you're always trying to, to find your levels and where you're going to be going next. And that part of the storyline has just been taken away. So it'll be interesting to see where, where we're going from here. And what, what, uh, what did, how, how, how was it, um, you know, uh, realizing that you were going to have to again. I mean, I guess you always like to shoot people in twos, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I just, yeah, exactly. But to have your own son step in front of a bullet, that's that's a little, that's, a, that's something. I still say that if, if Steffi would have just given Sheila an inch of space, you know, to mm -hmm. get to know her son, that none of this mm -hmm. would have happened. Well, I mean, Sheila let Steffi get away with a lot. She shot her first. She slapped her a few times. I mean, it was it was inevitable that Sheila was going to uh, <laughs> clap back eventually. Yeah, <laughs> and Matt, you know, it's interesting because a lot of people don't even remember that Steffi shot me first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's 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 funny how how fast she has forgotten these things, but uh, and and how I her her grandfather begged me to to not press charges, and because of Sheila's love for Eric, you know, she didn't. <laughs> well, I'm hoping we see some Eric and Sheila interaction soon. Uh, well, the first the first thing um, I thought about yeah. when I realized uh, that. Finn and, and Steffi were going to be shot was somebody better protect Hayes because Sheila loves babies. 
<laughs> we all thought, of course I, thought we I all love babies that. don't we all <laughs> <laughs> well i still love i mean a very iconic thing that sheila did was cut off some of thomas's hair when he was a baby so i love seeing thomas and sheila interacting now um it's kind of uh <laughs> a mm -hmm. fun a fun thing <laughs> yeah and you know what thinking the, the back scenes, on. and the scenes that i've been doing with uh, matthew as well they've they've been a lot of fun and i think have shown some some new depth um you know in in what i have not seen him do before i mean when he came to my room and and was in my face it was so nice to see him get outside of that that safety net you know that that uh being a good guy sort of role and i know that he hasn't always been a good guy so to see that side it was it was a lot of fun for me to work with him yeah well right. i also yeah. i also loved your scenes with sean by the way because the way you like snapped from like you were upset by yourself then you had to pretend when deacon came to the door to be like happy and hitting on him and then you're like grieving, but there's so many layers because, you, oh, you, uh, amazing, amazing work this week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate that. A lot of fun. A lot of fun, a lot of hours, a uh, lot of dialogue, a lot of memorizing. And boy, I sure I'm enjoying this time off right now. So we, <laughs> we can't give any spoilers, uh, Kimberlyn, but I will say next week really has a lot of cliffhangers. It certainly does. Um, yeah, you, you you thought it might have ended in the alley, but it doesn't. It doesn't at all. It just uh, right. it gets more interesting script by script. I can tell you that. Well, and I know fans were loving the Lee and Sheila interaction oh, uh, today. For real. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Let's good. Go. Good point, Great. Matt. So yeah. So that was that was that brought up a lot of uh, uh, conversation between the fans when uh, Lee told you that she'll take care of Finn. Uh huh. Right. Right. I know. It kind of the two mamas facing off. That would have been a fun fun era area to explore as well. Mm -hmm. Having. Uh, having Lee and, and Sheila go at it a bit, because I think Lee would have been a, a great uh, adversary, quite honestly. Right. Um, yeah. Sorry. Just changing right. my seat there. Uh, wait, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. Kimberlyn is just something about seeing you in person and then seeing you on TV. It just uh, gets me, gets me, uh, <laughs> Gets me nervous. Okay, so before before we say goodbye, because I know you're on your road trip, will you give us will you give us right. a classic Sheila uh, laugh and stare? Here we go. Well, I want to I want to see you. I'll do one first. Oh, <clears throat> come on, Casey. We'll start. With I you. know I can't do it. I think Candace could try. I don't know. Candace, Candace, give it a shot. <laughs> There you go. I don't hear the laugh oh. though. Oh no, that was that was Sheila drinking and plotting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and just let everybody know it's water. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay, Matt, you I can give it a shot. I, I can't do I the, laugh. Do the I, laugh. I can, I can it's raise too my eyebrow. I can do the eyebrow raise, I but I can't. Uh, <laughs> I can do the one eyebrow raise. Is all. I can. <laughs> See, the laugh. There you go. <laughs> There's, there's the laugh, and then let's see, that up uh, a little bit for the look. And uh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh boy, there you go. Uh, there there you go. Yeah, you, you definitely don't want to cut me off while you're driving here in Montana. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you heard it first. Those of you in Montana, run. That's it. Yeah, run. look out. Run. <laughs> yep, yep. Bozeman will never be the same. No. <laughs> All right, Kimberly. <laughs> All right. All right, Kimberly. Well, thank you. Thank for you. having me, Casey. Thank you so much. Uh, miss you and um, have a safe trip. Miss you too. And Matt, thanks again for that wonderful poster. I absolutely love it. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it was amazing. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> oh, I, I very much so. It's in my dressing room. Thanks a bunch, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye. Bye, Kimberly. Okay. Well, that was that was special to have her stop by. Are you are you okay, Candace? 
No. <laughs> you recovered? Okay. Well, we've got a 411 people watching. Thank you for tuning in to Bold Live. If this is your first time watching Bold Live, I'm Casey Kasperzik, uh, host of Bold Live and supervising producer here at The Bold and the Beautiful. I'm joined with super fans Candice and Matt. And uh, now we're going to open the phone lines. You guys want to stick around for the phone lines? Yeah, if we can. I'm curious. Sure. I haven't <laughs> I haven't pushed the button for the phone line yet. I'm curious how many people are actually on uh on, on the phone line because I haven't opened it yet. So people, that, okay, so this is your chance. If this if you're new to the show, this is the number to call. 573-375-9278. Uh, and um, call in and let's hear what your reaction was to uh, the Sheila, Steffi, Finn storyline. All right, here we go. Let's see who our first caller is. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Gina Simonette calling from Frankfurt, New York. Hi, Gina. What's going on? Hey, Gina. how are you? What? Hey, nice to see you guys. So what was your reaction? Okay, so my my daughter's here. She wanted to say hi. Her name's Shelby. Hi. Hey, Shelby. Um, hey, Shelby. My reaction, she's uh, just turned 16. Um. Oh. My reaction is, I think that uh, Finn is still alive. I um, I just think maybe the doctor went in and she saved him, and we just don't know it yet. But I think that what Sheila's going to do is she's going to try to go in and hurt Stephanie because she doesn't want Stephanie to say anything. So she might even try to pretend she's a nurse and put the outfit on and come in, and then she's going to you know, pretend she's working on her and then Stephanie's going to wake up and kind of, you know, slowly like, oh my God, it's you, Sheila, and then try to do something. That's that's what I think is going to happen. But I am a Sin fan. I do want Stephanie and Finn to be together. I think they make a great couple. Um, I don't see her with Bill, like everyone's saying, but I do like Stephanie and Finn. I think they make a great couple. So I really hope that he's not dead because we need more of them. <laughs> and, um, so that's what I think. All right. Well, Gina. Well, um, well I mean, we we, <laughs> we saw Taylor get buried. We saw Macy like blow up that's and true. they both came back. So, I mean, <laughs> there's always. Yeah, yeah. There's always a possibility. You oh, know? yeah. Now, a lot of people are and, asking, where where is Finn's father, Jack? Mm-hmm. Yep, um, that's the number one question. So my my thing is, uh, I I cried during the whole thing because it made me sad. Yeah. Um, just watching even today's show, you know, with Liam saying what he said to Stuffy. I mean, this is very um, very deep for me because I cried a lot on previous uh, things in the past. Way in the past, I cried. So when things like this happen, you get attached and. You know, you do. So, just wanted to tell you that. Well, Gina, you know, I appreciate I'm very you calling invited. in, and uh, I'm going to yeah. keep moving to the next caller. Thank you so much. Yep, and God bless, and thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. All right. Bye. Gina, always love hearing from Gina. You know people's name and their cities. Like, it's like their last name. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, this is Sam from Florida. Hi, Casey. Hi, Matt. Hi, Candace. Hi. 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 So, Sam, what was your reaction? Um, so, um, I haven't been listening to the show, but if you're at, if you're asking about the reaction to Finn's death, yes. Okay, so um, I didn't find that to be a twist. Um, I found it to be shocking, and I was. Uh, expecting Finn to survive, um, or at least still be in a coma or something. I did not expect for Finn to die on a pile of trash in an alley. And even after he died, there was no ceremony at all. I mean, the way the sheet was poorly pulled over him. Mm-hmm. Can we lose it? Or Sam? Sam? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. Um, well, yes. I will say this, though. Um, and my mom made this comment because about what Taylor was wearing. I said, well, mom, it's all the same day. We're still in the same yeah. day from the, sh it's been a long night, uh, in, into the morning uh, at the hospital. So things are, you know, we don't, my, my other question is where exactly is Finn? Like, is he at the same hospital? Is he at a different hospital? Different hospital. Like where? I mean, and I asked my mom this. She said he's in the he's in the morgue. Wait, oh. there's more than one hospital there. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> well, it's it's Los it's, Angeles. It's, you know, that's what they, I was say. they don't always they don't always send this the um <laughs> the 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 victims to the same hospital. They <laughs> no, they don't because there's trauma. You know, so well. Oh, but well, was that yeah, a joke, okay, Matt? So. That there's only one hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Because there's only one Italian <laughs> restaurant. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. Go ahead. <laughs> So yeah, um, so um, my overall feeling was that day, um, it was a great surprise and shock because I thought Finn would live. But as the days have gone by and Finn is unceremoniously dead and to cap it all off with scene montages today, without even really, in my opinion, a proper uh, sin send off, um, my reaction is negative. And um, I just would like for you guys to, um, Please consider, <laughs> please consider um, getting Tanner Noblin back or bringing Finn back or both in my, you know, that would be my preference. Um, I really want to see Finn come back. I just can't do another round of Liam um, getting to choose and always treating Steffi like, you know, she's just not good enough. He can stay in the shed. He can stay in the cabinet. Okay. Well, thank you, Sam from Florida. I appreciate you calling. We're going to move on to our next caller. Let's see who's out there. Hi, welcome. Hey, Casey. Hi, Hi Casey. I'm hey. Jacarius, and I'm calling from Cleveland, Mississippi. Well, hey, how's it going? Nice to hear from you again. Uh, what was your reaction? Uh, my reaction was, wow. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting this. And that same time, um, <laughs> but at the same time, I don't think Finn a D. Mm hmm And and this is the worst thing ha that Sheila has done, cause it kind of gives me a flashback when Taylor got shot and killed back in 2002. Like it's like 20 years now. Mm. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, yeah. Twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of gives me the flashback of day. <laughs> Let me tell you, I was I was devastated when, uh, actually, yeah, I was devastated when um when uh, Taylor uh was killed, and I was like, well, as there is, you know, I haven't seen the body in a casket yet, and then I was working here as a page, and they were shooting the episode, and there was. Taylor in a casket. Mm. But as we all mm. know, it was a wax so figure. Didn't, know. So didn't mean anything. Well, and that was the tease because she was still alive in the hospital mm -hmm. for a little bit after the shooting. You know, they, they made you think, oh, she's going to be okay. And then it turned. And that was like. After that scene uh, with Ridge, <laughs> that heartbreaking scene with Ridge in the hospital room. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and, and also, I, I love Taylor. And she's my favorite character anyway. But what do you what I do just, you think of what do you think of Krista's uh portrayal of Taylor? I love it. And she is making that role at its own. Mm -hmm. Even though I love Hunter at the same time, but of Krista is growing into me. Let me tell you, she 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 puts her heart and soul into that role. She really does. And yeah, I agree. She really did. Like, she deserves an Emmy for this year or next year, as I can say. Because her performance today, like, for this week is so amazing. And I loved it. Well, awesome. Jakaris, thank you for calling in. And I'm going to head on up to the next caller because I'm afraid that the phone line will break. Uh, there's so many people. Oh, hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Rebecca. Hi, Casey. Rebecca from San Clemente. Hi, Matt. Hi, Candace. Have you met Candace? Hi, and Rebecca. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Good. Good. All right. So what's your... Still give it to me, talk. Rebecca. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. Well, I was literally... My mom and I were sick to our stomach. Like, we couldn't believe it. We were so shocked. Mm-hmm. And my opinion is... A part of me thinks he's still alive. I agree with that other guy that was on because they showed Steffi being wheeled away, but they didn't show um, Finn's body be, being on away on a gurney or in a body bag. So I think he's his mom's hiding him somewhere, taking care of him. Okay. Well. Now wasn't oh, his wasn't his dad? I can't remember. Wasn't his dad Jack a doctor? Mm -hmm. I think they're both doctors, yeah. Wasn't yeah, Finn, yeah. wasn't Finn both who he was? Both okay, doctors. so maybe also his dad. Maybe his dad's taking care of him somewhere if he was a doctor. I just remembered about that. Now, do you, do, you think, Sheila, right? do you think that, or are you just thinking that because you want to hope Finn's, Finn's alive? I'm thinking it because you guys literally didn't show um, his body being taken away or him being... You know what I mean? They didn't show him taken away in a body bag or anything. They just took Steffi. Well, they did show him when, if you remember, it was a quick scene when the, yeah. they had the cop and they had Deacon and, you mm -hmm. know, Deacon said it's unfair. He has a kid. It, that person mm -hmm. that you saw on the gurney that, you know, they covered his face was Finn. And I think, because that's how, I'm going to be honest. I'm with a mm -hmm. lot of you guys. I don't think he's it did, but there could be a twist because I'm, I'm thinking so many things right now. And oh, no. I was like, okay, there's no way, like him getting shot, I was like, okay, he's going to lapse into a coma. The blood coming out his mouth was like, seriously, y'all went dark with this. And, and I'm just thinking, okay. You're right. We didn't see him go to the same hospital as Stuffy. But yeah. there could have been a way that they could have actually, you know, got him back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm just like kind of hmm at that. And yeah, and Jackie forth, Lee. Yeah. yeah, they're both. Well, if you want, if you want to go real conspiracy theory, um, it was mm -hmm. Deacon's the one that found him, right? Yeah. And. We just found mm -hmm. out on The Young and the Restless mm -hmm. that Deacon apparently helped Diane fake her death. So maybe Finn was alive and told him Sheila did it, and maybe he is telling everybody everybody that he's dead, you know. Or reverse uh, that. What if Lee, what if Lee <laughs> yeah, is Yeah, that's right. Famous. I did hear his name on there yesterday. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Well, Rebecca, <laughs> I'm going to have to jump on to the next caller. Thank you for that's glad you okay. made it in this week. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Me too. You too. Nice to meet you guys. Bye-bye. You too. That, that's Rebecca. She Fun. It's right. fun because we always hear them calling yeah. in. So. Right, I, right. Hey, uh, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Casey. It's Kim from Pennsylvania. Hey, Kim from Pennsylvania. So, what was your, your reaction this week? Well, hey, Casey. Hey, Matt. How y'all guys doing tonight? Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, well, I was speechless because my girl, there, Steffi, and was afraid for her life, and when she shot her. I said no. I screamed because I felt for my girl. You know, I was shocked when that happened to her. And, um, you know, like I said before, Kimberlyn and Jacqueline and Tanner, they're doing such a good job with the storyline. And I'm still rooting for my Bill and Steffi, Casey. I still want my – I'm still, still reunited. I still believe. Okay, well, can I just say, and, and uh, for the Still fans out there, I'm a little surprised mm -hmm. why at the drop of a hat when Steffi was shot, Bill Spencer's not all over this. Right. Like, he would have the FBI all over this. He would have the CIA. He would have CIA, FBI, FBI, he president would. of the United States, everybody finding, getting getting forensics, everything. And uh, I'm a little I'm a little upset that I haven't seen Bill. Yeah, but the way he was talking yes. to um, Liam recently, Maybe he was talking about how Kelly is and how he wants to go see her and stuff. I kind of like that. Mm. I'm still rooting for him, so hope she gets amnesia and goes back to Bill. That's my I want. 
Okay. All right. So you're yeah. you're you're um. So you're 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 a still fan. Of course, we talked before. Remember, we talked with Jackie. <laughs> yeah. Of um, course. Of course. Well. Of course. Um. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, lots going on. Well, thank you. Thank you, Kim, for calling in. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. I'm not going to say anything about that. I, th I well, we'll, t we'll talk later. Right, let's get to the phone yeah. line. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? <laughs> hi, this is Caitlin. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Caitlin, hi. Are you new to the show? I, well, it's been on my entire life and kind of watched it via my uh, grandma and mom and aunts, but just started watching in 2020. So I don't know Bold Without Finn. So oh. it's just kind of a weird, it's a weird thing for me, but okay. yeah. Did you start watching during um, the pandemic? No, I started watching a little bit before. Right before, okay. I, I kind of knew it, like right, um, I, I can't think of the storyline at the moment, but I saw a little bit of Sally Spectre at the end and I've kind of known, I, I have always known what has happened with Bold, but I've never watched it. So it was really like, I kind of started watching. Well, right you're in luck because we on. have all the original episodes right here on our YouTube channel. And yes, you can I watch know. from episode one, make sure you subscribe. And we've had, we've had callers on here that watch uh, like three episodes a day from the beginning. Oh, okay. Well, I've got to do that. And I, and I watched a lot, um, on the CBS app and kind of oh, pay okay. for a subscription to go back and watch maybe like 2016, 17, 18, but okay. yeah, very I really good. just started watching in 20. But I'm very curious to talk to you because you don't know a bold and beautiful really without Finn. So you, that, that's very interesting. So uh, tell me your, your reaction to everything that's been going on. Um, I was absolutely devastated. Uh, what I think what Michael was talking about earlier when he said he was sick to his stomach, I was completely sick to my mm -hmm. stomach. And I know that there is a clear line between fiction and reality. But for him to die in front of her like that was so heartbreaking. And it was just something I was like, I, I know I need to separate myself from this. But this feels a little too, it was too dark. It was too, it was too dark for me. Um, well, but, I will tell um, I will tell you since you're new to the show, and Matt can probably agree. This is probably one of the darkest moments in the show's history. Yeah. yeah, and and I I talked to my mom about it, and she's like, "Yeah, this was this was pretty dark, even for for Sheila." Mm -hmm. And so I was like, "Well, it makes me feel better to know that I'm not overreacting." But I was glad that there is you know there are people online that talk about stuff like this because I was like, "I need to talk about this. This is this is crazy." And I feel like Tanner and Jackie's chemistry is just so good for that to just kind of be ripped. And I know there's no closure in soap opera sometimes, but that was just really, I mean, it was really tough. I don't think he's dead. That's just my opinion. Mm. But, um, but yeah, I think, I think Lee's got something to do with it. Just the way that she is. Um, I don't know if she's being written this way on purpose to make us think that maybe he's still alive and he's not, but she's speaking about him in present tense. When she came into that, uh, onto the floor of the hospital, before she even saw Sheila, she was hot. So um, she knows something, I think. Um, but anyway, it's um, it's been, yeah, this has been, I'm, I'm seriously like had no appetite. It's just, it's, it's crazy, but um, it's been very interesting to watch. I feel like every day I'm kind of showing up to my funeral, but it's okay. <laughs> well, um, I do appreciate you. Uh, you know, all I can say is stick with it, stick with the show because uh, Matt and Candace can attest there are lows and then there are highs and then there's you Absolutely. Know, happiness and there's sadness. It's, it's, yeah, it's a roller coaster. And then there's those, the WTF moments, which we talk about all the time. <laughs> and the, the WTF oh. moments, right. Yeah, moments. Oh, ab ab absolutely. And it's like, you know, we watch these people, they're in your living room every day. So it's basically exactly. your, yeah. it's like your family, their joy is your joy and their pain is your pain, but you're able to turn it off knowing they'll be back tomorrow. But for this, it's like, well, he's not back tomorrow. What am I supposed to do? So it was just kind of one of those things. But I'll, I'll, I'll keep the faith. I'll keep the faith. So yeah. if, if Steffi, if Steffi does go back to Liam, that'll be the first time for you. Well, I've seen it my whole life. 
so oh, I'm kind of already uh, over it without having okay. seen it. Okay. Um, Even not really know... seeing it, you're over it. I got gotcha. you. Okay. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, I, I know the history and, and know kind of where they have come from and have seen their weddings and have seen them be together. I just wasn't actively watching it, but it was enough for me. I, I mean, I think they're great together, but with Finn in the picture, it just wasn't even a question. And I think Brad Bell had mentioned in one of his interviews um, that, you know, everybody's been happy for, you know, the couples have been happy for a long time. So it's kind of time to stir it up. And I'm thinking, well, maybe Liam and Hope have been happy, but Steffi and Finn never got a break. I mean, their entire relationship has been a mess. And then now all this, and I'm like, so if you want to stir something up, stir, you know, stir up Hope and, and um, Liam again, but just Steffi going back with Liam, I think they're leading us in that direction that maybe we're supposed to assume as the viewer that that's where it's going. But I just, I can't, I can't imagine that it's to, to go that way this quickly after, but I mean, within 24 hours, Liam jumped on her and I just, I don't know. Well, it's, you know, he hasn't even been gone for that long. So I don't know. Gotcha. Yeah. No, I know. I know. Matt, Candace, what do you think? <laughs> um, uh, well, I, I hope they're intentionally misleading us. Um, yeah. But Liam is quite the flip flopper, so I I don't know. <laughs> he is. I mean, I definitely he's agree. very convincing. I mean, he's very convincing, <laughs> but I mean, this is the thing. I agree. I agree with. Okay, I'm just gonna say when this happened, when Finn was shot, and he died, I was like everybody else. I was like, oh no. Oh no, like this means <laughs> that we're going, we right. may be getting that triangle back and, and whatnot after, you know, having kind of a break from that. And I think, yeah. and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to say it, I feel as though some fans, not all fans, but I think some Steffi and Finn fans, they, some of them, not all of them, so please don't come after me when I'm about to say this. I think some people would just needed a break from that triangle. That's why they enjoyed Absolutely. this couple. I also think that a lot of Steffi and Finn fans did organically fall in love with this couple because this was the first person who gave Steffi, okay, let me back that up because I know the Bill and Steffi fans are going to come after me for that one too. Like, <laughs> you know, that Finn didn't have all this history, didn't quote unquote come with baggage. Um, right. And so it was kind of a breath of fresh air. And now it's sort of like, okay, with Liam, who is the father of her child, we got to remember this, folks. That's another connection that they share a child Unless together. you're a still fan. So it's not all, it may be, unless you're a still yeah. fan. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about that later when oh. we talk about some theories, okay? <laughs> yes. But the thing is. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite thing to talk about. There's some so theories out there. But, right. So I, I think. But right now, I think all the fans collectively, it's just like, are we about to go back, back in time and do, you know, maybe this whole triangle thing? And if so, like, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I saw the pictures. I saw the flashback. And I was like, yeah. woo! I was like, I'm staying off of social media today. Like, because <laughs> like, I know, it, it I, I know this passion is it's a, it's a lot. And, I'm the one who likes all the couples. So I'm just like, she's. <laughs> yeah, it felt, it felt too soon. And they're, I think they're great together, but it was just, it was too soon for me. And I'm like, oh, please don't push this, yeah. you know, down our throats. But um, sorry, I don't want to take up time from other callers. I can't even believe I got through, but yeah, this has just been, it's been a week. And so um, I know that there are twists and turns that are to come, you know, you know, in the next couple of months. Um so I'll stay, I'll, I'll stay in it as long as I can. But it was, it was really tough. I mean, I, mm -hmm. Tanner, I don't know him as a person, but he seems like a really great guy, but the two of them together, it's like, gosh, how do you get rid of somebody when they are like that together? And, um, but he's too pure, like he's too pure in a dark world. So he's not going to last very long, right. but anyway. Well, Caitlin, thank you so much for calling. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll check back with you. Call back in a, in a couple of weeks. Awesome. Thank you all so much. I appreciate Thank it. Bye. -bye. Um, all right. I just want to give a shout out to uh, Cheryl. Cheryl, uh, you're very welcome. I'm 
happy to be here today taking your calls and I love hearing your feedback. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, are you guys good on time? Let's keep going. We're going into our second hour here on Bold Live. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, everybody. It's Mel from New York City. Hey, Mel. What's Mel. going on? Hey. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. So what was your reaction? Well, um, like the previous callers, I had a couple of things I want to say. First off, Casey, I want to say, as you, you know, whatever, I love this show. I love that pretty much on YouTube, you're probably the only um, soap opera based YouTube show that allows callers to call in. And I wish other you, um, soap, opera call in, soap opera shows on YouTube would do this too because it's so fun to hear from the fans. Because I was getting so many different tidbits that I didn't even think about. And uh, even the idea of Finn might being alive, it was like, Okay, I, that that shocked me. I was like, really? Because I, I was, like other calls, was devastated. I thought it was a dark week. Um, and I want to say this, too. I love Sheila. Well, no, no, I love the actress. There we go. Let me say, I love the actress. But I want to say this, that I had difficulty um, sympathizing with Sheila because I was thinking, Sheila, in in the world, in, in just, in, just in, in general, people give babies up for adoption. You know, it's adoption. We have all this kind of stuff. And usually in those relationships, sometimes the adoptive mother don't want to be connected with, or the parent don't want to be connected with the child, and the child doesn't want to be connected with the parent. They don't go homicidal when mm -hmm. those kind of things aren't happening. And, that it just, and so the thing, the difficulty I have with Sheila is that she, she kind of thinks that this is happening to her alone. This, nobody in the world has never had, you know, adoption go bad or go sad, and that, that is grounds for her to go homicidal. So that is, was hard for me because, like, oh, my gosh. You know, other mothers and other fathers reached out to their children after, you know, this kind of situation happened. And they said, no, I'm not ready right now. That's enough. You know, mm -hmm. live your life and, and go and do what you need to do. You don't got to go kill enough his wife and, you know, and the, all that kind of stuff. So that was that was a lot. Um, and also, I wanted to say that I thought the performances were great. I love Krista Allen, but you know what I'm telling you? I met um, Hunter Teller one time years ago, and I, I, I miss her. I miss her. I love her. I just... She's a goddess, but I will say this: Krista is doing a fantastic job. She is convincing me because I, I love Hunter, you know, to everything. And um, but Krista's doing a wonderful job in this story. And um, yeah, I just think that Sheila's rage and just just her reaction and everything that happened was was shocking to me as a viewer who watched these shows for a long time. I got into soap operas from the 1993 when I first watched her hospital. So um, you know, this was this was this was really big. It was like, wow, I thought they. I didn't think they was going to go to a point where she would get shot. I thought maybe she, right. uh, Sheila would have maybe hit her, <laughs> maybe try, maybe <laughs> Stephanie would have had a coma or something. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Not 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 cold blooded um, attempted murder, basically. Right. But um, the thing is, the story is so brilliant and to the writers. It's so brilliant that if Finn is alive, which is a shock in this moment hearing it, I never thought it, I didn't even think about this moment. But if he is alive, that's kind of wonderful because let's just say both of them stay alive. I'm hoping that both of them stay alive, Sheila would have shown her hand. She would have shown, listen, I am a monster. I don't, I am, you know, crazy. And the people she attempted to take out are alive, which would be the ultimate, like, this. You survived and you're stronger than ever. I hope that happens. When it comes to Liam, okay. the actor, he is um, a brilliant actor, and I would love him to do more. I am conflicted when it comes to um, Liam and Steffi because, I was actually one of them that actually liked it. I liked it when Stephanie was going after um, Liam back in the day. But, um, and the chemistry is on, but, you know, Stephanie and Liam have chemistry. It's just the way, the two actors, you know, they just do. So, what do you I think? Know, I mean, I'm, but Lee, I mean, Liam does have feelings for Stephanie, which was a little odd for him to express that to his father. But, um, uh, <laughs> right? I mean, that was, a little, that was a lot of the blue, I'm going to admit. But yeah. um, he's happily <laughs> married to Hope. I, but you know what I think is the people have said about Liam, which makes him, you know, yeah. which makes him polarized in the ways that Liam is always going to be that character who's going to, you know, maybe not do the most uh, gently, you know, do the most right thing. You know, I, as a mar you know, if you're married to somebody, you're in a happy relationship, you would not, as you say, discuss things like that, but, you know, Liam does, and I think that's what makes people like him and sometimes, you know, get mad with him sometimes. Right. But um, he's never boring. He's never boring, you know, and the actor's brilliant. But I'm hoping um, – oh, I want to say one thing. Um, the last okay, thing. Mel, we got to wrap um, up. But, i got to get to another call. Okay. 
All right. Well, I want to say the last thing. Finn's mother was the, the actress who played Finn's mother. You know, the adoptive mother, the mother. She was wonderful. She stood up to Sheila. Naomi. She did not let her. Yes, she was great. I loved it because I think after everything that Sheila did, we needed that moment with somebody to just, you know, go that hard with Sheila. So I like that moment. Was, the hospital well, Mel, thank you for calling in, and um, you have a great weekend. Um, I, Matt, I think you made a post uh, this week. Um, showing you know how history repeats itself and it's and it's uh, where where Sheila shot the daughter the mother and the <laughs> grandmother <laughs> yeah and the stepmother mm -hmm. <laughs> and the stepmother yeah but it, but it depends <laughs> if you ask if she was really a legit stepmother <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go with, but uh but that is that that's cold that's cold. You know, it's <laughs> Sheila's been shooting them all for <laughs> exact. Hey, decades. hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Lynn, and I'm from Maryland. I'm sorry, your name again? Lynn. Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Candace is from Maryland. <laughs> hey, Maryland. <laughs> hi. Hi. So Lynn, you sound like a hi, first time Lynn. caller into Bold Live. Yep, say hi to Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi. <laughs> so what was your reaction, Lynn? I have to tell you, I was on the edge of my seat the entire time watching this. I love that makes me um, excited to hear that. So what 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 put you on your edge of your seat? Just the whole the whole thing, really. <laughs> How long have you been watching? Um, for about five or ten years now. Okay. So you really haven't yeah, seen this dark side of Sheila before. This is a pretty much the darkest. I was watching my little crumble going at it too. Mm, oh, okay, right. Those were so that was that that was really that was that was really cool when she wanted to get back with Eric. Now, um, what are your thoughts on Finn? Then. I'm yeah. sad. I think he's really dead this time. So this time, I mean, you know what I mean. I think right. he's really dead. Well, mm -hmm. um, uh, why do you think he's dead? Well, I mean, <laughs> good one, Casey. Why yeah. do you think he's dead? Obviously. <laughs> well, why do you? Why? Because some people think some people think he's alive. Some people think he's dead. I mean, why do you think he's dead? I just had that feeling that he's on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> well, where do you think this is going? I think Steffi's going to wake up and not remember what happened. Oh, interesting. And I think that's how she was going to get away with it for a couple of months. <laughs> And then just start to have flashbacks, <laughs> if you will, and then start to remember. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Lynn, for calling in. Thank you. All right. You have a good good weekend. Ooh, All right. Let's see who else is on the phone line. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Casey. It's Susan from Las Vegas calling in. Hey, Candace. Hi, Matt. Um, hey. Hi, Susan. What's going on over there? Hey, Matt. What's going on over there, Casey? Oh, I'm just, just here just, just enjoying interacting with all of you. Yeah, well, I'm enjoying watching this. And speaking of enjoying, what a great freaking week you had. I mean, seriously, as a viewer of Soap Fans, and I watch of soap shows i watched all of them and you guys blew it out of the water this week it was great you know i like finn but if you tell me he's dead he's dead you know what are you gonna do this isn't the hallmark channel it's a it's a it's a soap i want to see what happens i mean i wasn't that invested in finn because he was only there for two years mm -hmm. he wasn't on the canvas the whole time you know but uh I don't. I don't know. I thought the lighting was great. Uh, the way mm. it was 
it was shot was really good. I liked the actors, how they portrayed this whole thing that happened, which it's not the twist yet, but it's really good, Casey. You guys did a really nice job. Well, I got to give hats off to all our production uh, crew uh, for putting that together. And uh, Jennifer Howard, uh, she was the director of um, the alley scenes, and she put a lot of work into that. Uh, she's been a longtime director here. And, uh, yeah, it was, um, you know, uh, a, a, t a team effort. For sure. It well, when Deacon crawled on the bed to make uh, mm. Sheila feel better after telling her that news, I mean that was so good. I just have no complaints. I thought it was a great show and a great a great week, I should say, for Bold. And I'm looking forward to more. And right now, you guys are number one out of four in my book because you get kept me surprised. There were no spoilers. It was great. I hate spoilers. I like being surprised in the moment, you know? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. um, uh, Gina, you're you're a fantastic uh, bold bold live Susan. fan. You call you call every week, and it's so nice uh, catching up with you. Thank you, Casey. Have a good week. I look forward to next week. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. You too. Are you excited meeting all these callers that you've always heard uh, on the show? <laughs> I know it's fun. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It's Israel, calling from Montreal. Gabriel? Israel. Israel. Hey, Israel. How's it going? I'm doing good. Hi, Casey. Hi, Candice. Hi, Matt. Hi. So, Hi. what's your reaction? That was bad. Really bad. I mean, all she cared about was not getting arrested. Right. I mean, her son was shot. Okay. I mean, you'd think. It was, I mean, she was a nurse. She could have done something to stop, you know, the bleeding. She could have done something to resuscitate him. But no, all she cared about was not getting arrested. I mean, that was, you know, abysmal. I mean, she always had that quality that made fans relate to her, understand her, or at least. Right understand where she was mentally, understand her psychological mind frame. And for the first, I mean, I've been following Sheila for decades. And for the first time in decades, you know, I felt disgust. I felt disgusted. You see, I, I mean, I was like, that's so abysmal. It's her son and she's letting him die like a gutter rat. Among literal trash. Right. I mean, he died she, on a pile of garbage. And Sheila, you know, just assumed uh, he had died. Oh, also, Sheila was 100%, not 99%, but 100% sure Steffi had died. And when Deacon told her that Steffi was still alive, she seemed shocked. You see, and uh, that's the problem with uh, soap operas. Sometimes soap writers have a tendency to dumb, to dumb down characters in order to make a storyline work. Just because, she, just because Tiffy had got one bullet didn't mean she died. She doesn't know that. You, you see, she should know that. And Sheila had cheated death herself a couple of times. You see? Uh, I mean, they, they have got to bring back Finn. That's the only thing that could redeem Sheila somehow. Now, how do you? At least she would not have the death of uh, sin on her conscience. Right. Okay. All right. And and, and uh, one more thing. Yes. Uh, I have a question for you, Casey, regarding the timeline of the B and B and the Y and R. Because last time I called, you said that the B and B operate on a different timeline than the Y and R. I didn't. You call I, didn't that? I didn't act, exactly say that. I think somebody sort of. Uh, paraphrase what I was saying. Uh, I said, basically, regarding the character of Sheila, because um, people wanted to know about the, Sheila's children on Young and the Restless, and mm -hmm. they those children don't necessarily Daisy and Ryder. 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 They don't necessarily fit into the Sheila universe on Bold and Beautiful. Though, that's right now. 
but she doesn't reference them. Because I did see that, you see that comment, a lot of people said where Steffi said you killed your only son or you shot your only yeah. son. That's why everybody say that. And too. then everybody's yeah. saying, well, it's not her only son. But on Bold and Beautiful, that's all that Steffi knows. Steffi doesn't know that Sheila may have other another son. She knows she has mm -hmm. other daughters, like Mary and Erica, but not she doesn't know about Ryder. Ryder and Daisy. Well, 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 you met Mary and Diana. Yeah. Mary, Mary and Diana. Yeah. Exactly, because uh, Sheila had... Diana oh, with right, Matthew. or Erica, Mar yes. Mar yeah, sorry, Diana, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot it was Erica was Mary, yes. Well, has <laughs> There's a lot. Story. It's a lot. <laughs> She's got well, it. Well, 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 I had a family tree just on Sheila sometimes. Well, Mar Mary went by Margaret as a baby, yep. and then Mary, and then Erica was who's older. Yes, <laughs> which who I love. I love the character of Erica. I love that character. I, yeah. Erica Lovejoy, what an iconic name that is. Yes. For so I, thought, I thought she was I thought she was great. Yeah. Yes, but, but uh, just one comment uh, before I leave. I think the BNB is making a mistake by, you know, ignoring the Zen Rider. Uh, I mean, just a mention, just a mention, you know, by Sheila that she has, you know, married Diana, and she also had twins um, elsewhere in the United States, the Zen Rider at some point. Just a little mention like that. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. think the one at all would mind. The okay. one I wouldn't mind okay. at all. Uh, so that's a suggestion. Um, and at some point, you know, if uh, we could, I mean, if Finn came back to life and we had Mary, Diana, Daisy, and Ryder, that would be perfect. That would be great. You know, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with acknowledging Daisy and Ryder. So please, please, uh, Casey. I think there are a uh, lot please. of people. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you uh, to tell Bradley Bell about it because I would love to at least, you know, have some, have Sheila herself just say something about Daisy and Ryder. I have, have uh, had those other kids as far in the United States, Daisy and Ryder at some point. That's all, just one line at least. So please, Casey, do that for us. And it would be great if you know, um, Disney writer could could appear. I, I I I don't agree that they do not fit the the, uh, the universe of the B and B. It's all about the writing. It's I've all never about said how that. I've never fit. said that. I just said they don't they don't fit into like they don't fit into the agenda that's to the, going to on the, right the, now. Yeah, to the agenda here, like that. There there are you know paths and right. they're not brought into it yet. I'm not saying they don't exist. We we just don't reference them. Yeah. But it would, but it would, but it would be I a mean, heck, we don't reference half the I mean, okay. I, mean like, I will agree. Where, where's Kristen <laughs> and Felicia? I you will know? say this. Poor as Eric, a long, right? I was going to say, as a long time and Dino. fan of the Dino character, and, you and know Jack. the whole history. Jack. You know the whole history of the character. However, there's two different <laughs> lives that Sheila has. She has the Young and the Restless life that we all right. know about Ryder and Daisy and everything else. On Bold and Beautiful, again, we got to remember, there's a lot of people like Ridge and all of them who don't know everything about Sheila. Just like on Young and the Restless, obviously, you know, the big joke is Lauren doesn't know that Sheila is right. alive, you know, and stuff. And to know that she has another kid out there, he's serious. So... I get what you're saying, but I just feel as though there's she has two different lives. She has a double life, the the bold life. Well, yeah. but, but I, I will but say I real quick that, that I, I'm sorry, Matt. Kimberlyn got... never had scenes. Kimberlyn never played Sheila having scenes with Daisy or Ryder. Those that was all during the like. When, yes, but, but she was coming back. Kimberlyn, Kimberlyn was coming back. <laughs> she was coming back because uh, I remember that Tracy Bregman, um, who plays Lauren Finmore on the y and r and Maria Arena Bell. Maria Arena Bell was head writer and executive producer of The Young, The Restless. And uh, they confirmed that the character of Sheila was coming back in autumn 2012. But it's just that Maria Arena Bell, you know, got dismissed at that point, And she was replaced by Jill Siren Phelps. And the storyline was canon. Because, last time, because le the last thing we saw on the y and r is a woman who um, claimed to be Sheila Carter, and she checked Dizzy Carter out of Fairview. Dizzy Carter was, uh, had right. checked in right. Fairview, well, and a woman Israel, who claimed to be Sheila. I hate to, hate to cut you off, but I do have a lot of callers yeah. on hold, yeah. and um, I want to be respectful of their call. time. But I 
well, it, I, I will dive deeper into what you're saying because I do think you have an interesting point. So thank you so much mm -hmm. for calling. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. All right. Yeah. I mean, every time we bring up Sheila, people want to know about Daisy and Ryder. I I personally hope it gets said that they were never actually I'm well, I want to see Diana so, and I want to see Mary. But. Yeah. yeah. Because Diana's Ridge is half-sister. I know, but I do think it would be fair to the audience to sort of have some clarity on all that. Yeah. It is. It is. Okay, yeah, she can. Clarity of Lauren knowing. We also need Lauren. <laughs> to Lauren, please just right, have her right. say she never had a sister. There were people obsessed with her. Because, because if there's one a thing well that, that, that I that I don't like are loose ends. I don't like loose ends. So it just yeah. But, sometimes you need to tie them up. You need to tie them up in a little bit. So mm -hmm. that's you know interesting. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well. Um, um, <laughs> I'm trying to read the comments as they go by, too. And Mona, I'm, I'm trying, Mona. I'm trying. All right. Uh, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, this is Bubble from outside of Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, Matt. Hey, Candace. Hey. hey guys. I didn't hear any of that. Um. <laughs> Sorry. What you what's say? your name? Bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, it is Bubbles. <laughs> yeah. It is Bubble. Uh, is that, is bubble. that your birth certificate name? No, that is not my birth certificate name, but that is the name that most people know me by, so Bubbles Idiot. Okay, Bubbles. Bub and where are you from, Bubbles? I'm from Nashville. Nashville? Tennessee, yeah. Okay, Tennessee. good. All right, Bubbles from Nashville. Well, Bubbles, uh, uh, what's going on? What did you think of the show this week? This week's show was amazing. I thought that you guys did a really great job. Um, there were some things that I think probably could have been a little bit different, like the confrontation with Sheila and Lee probably should have taken place um, a lot sooner than at the hospital because right now it's just like, what are they even doing? They're fighting. Like, we know there's animosity between them, but... I would have liked to have seen Lee giving it to Sheila every time you turn the corner. Lee is giving her the business about Finn. But now she's just at the hospital demanding to see Finn. And Lee's giving off this really weird vibe like she's Stephanie Forrester about to bring Felicia back to life. Um, so I cannot hear you if you're talking to me. But so, no, I'm um, listening, <laughs> and I and I and I also want to say, Bubbles, thank you so much for staying on hold. I don't know how long you're on hold, but um, I also want to thank you for that. Well, awesome, thank you um, for quite some time, but that's okay. So I just wanted to get all that out there. You guys did a good job, but I think that should have been done sooner. And um, I don't want to believe that the twist is that Stan died, and I'm really offended that y'all let him die in the alley. Um, trash bags, like he didn't matter. My heart was broken about that, like completely broken. He should have like had his last death at the hospital, but in the alley, just that was that was gut wrenching. I don't think anybody really enjoyed that part of it, and that was that was super. Just it felt weird. Mm -hmm. So, but that's it. I'm glad that I got through. You guys did a great job. I hate that I missed Kimberly. Love her. Love Matt. Love Candace. Love you too, Casey. Love the show. You guys are great. Thank you. I'm going to give somebody else time to talk. Um, thanks. All right, Bubbles. We'll call anytime, and uh, you have a great weekend. Thanks, you too, guys. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. I'm sorry. I'm just enjoying the fact that everybody has to issue of performing. Wait, what was that, Candace? I said I, I'm, I'm enjoying the fact that every that most people are having an issue with the fact that Finn fell down into a pile of trash. Oh. <laughs> well, because to me, this is a real situation, and it's like, I mean, do you want him to, at the hotel? Well, I'm, I'm, right. It's not a dig, but it's realistic. That's the that's the thing. It is. It is. Pro it is. It it's is. It is a big topic, though. It is a big topic. Yeah. Was, I, I can I, see some people were, making it so Was that scripted oh. or a directing choice? Um, do you know? <laughs> or do you remember? That is a good... Well, <laughs> both. <laughs> I'll say both. Both. Okay. both. Um, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm calling from Orlando, Florida. How are you guys doing? Hi. Hey. Excellent, Brittany. So what's going on? Hi. What did you think of the show this week? Um, it was a really, it was a great week, actually. I thought the performances were amazing. I was very shocked that you guys killed off Finn. I was very heartbroken by that. I, on, I, I knew there was going to be a shooting, especially with Sheila. She loves a gun. But um, I figured she was going to shoot Seth. I was not expecting her to shoot Finn at all. Um, that's not how I was always predicting that would go. But I feel for, like, I do feel for Sheila and Lee and, like, Ridge, Taylor, everyone, and even Liam. But I feel he's about to screw that up again. Uh, <laughs> he was doing good for about eight months, but looks like he's going to go back down the rabbit hole again. Well, and Karen, how long have you been a, a fan of the show? Um, I've been a fan, uh, oh my goodness, um, since the 90s, honestly. I grew up watching it um, as a kid, and like I still watch it today, and my family still watches it today, so... I even go back um, and watch some of the old um, episodes. I'm on season 21, I think, because uh, it's just so fun just to go through and I'll just watch them for like hours and hours. I absolutely love the show. Oh, well, that, where do you watch it? On uh, Paramount Plus or on YouTube? Both. All right, awesome. Um, so where, what is your prediction? Um, well, going forward, um, I'm hoping if they are going with, um, I mean, Sheila's eventually going to get caught. I'm hoping Brooke is the one who actually catches her and outs her, um, mm. especially since it all originating with the revenge for Brooke. And I'm hoping that, um, well, I feel Stephanie's going to make it, but I, if they're going to push Hope and Liam together, I'm hoping they just go ahead and put Liam with Steffi. I... I always felt they were the better fit. Liam had more of a personality, and even Bill was right. Mm -hmm. Stephanie brings out Liam in a completely different way than Hope would. And it always seemed like he always keeps going back to Stephanie, same way Ridge always keeps going back to Brooke. Well, I'm not going to comment of... on that. Um, <laughs> Candace, Matt, are you STEAM fans? I like all couples, and I've told everybody this. I'm a neutral fan. That's right. I come with That's peace right. and love. I, peace and love. <laughs> I, you know, I liked Steffi and Bill, and I felt like Steffi and Liam started really? with her just being mad at the Logans, and then, you know, Bill had chose Katie because of the heart stuff. So I was always hoping it would come back around to that. Um there's a lot of so Bill you know I'm, I'm not I'm really for seeing that out. together, but <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> but I put Steffi and Liam love you. I, I I think they're like amazing. But I love the show. I love you guys. Thank you so much. This is a, I, I enjoy this. Thank uh, you. Well, thank you for taking time out and uh, calling in. Have a good weekend. Absolutely. Thanks, right. guys. Have a good night. You Bye -bye. too. Bye. Um. Are not happy about that last caller. Hello, welcome I'm to Bold Live. No. Um, <laughs> hello? Matt, are you Steam fans? Oh, no. I'm going to move oh, to the next. Hello, yeah, welcome to Bold Live. And I've told everybody this. I'm a neutral. No, <laughs> got to move on. Hey, that's me. I know. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh my God, I made it up. I'm Margaret. I am from Chicago. Margaret from Chicago. Welcome. Say hi to Candace and Matt. Hey. Hi, Candace and Matt. I, hey. I'm obsessed with you guys. I follow you guys on Twitter. And oh. I just, I love you guys. Are you guys there? We yeah, are here. here. So um, let's have, let's hear it. What's your reaction? Uh oh, Margaret? Oh no. Oh no. No. The sound was going to be so good. close to knowing. A good one. Margaret from Chicago. 
Oh, please call back. Aww. Okay. That's a bummer. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Hi. Hello. Hi, what, hi, what's your name? Where are you calling hi. from? Um, my name is Tori, and I'm calling from Texas. Hey, so what's what was your reaction this week on Bold and Beautiful? Oh, guys, I'm still in mourning. What can I say? <laughs> I didn't watch today. <laughs> I'm sad. Um, I'm a great... Um, you know, Sin fan, I I love Sin to death, and um, you know, I'm I'm just feeling some type of way about it. Um, mm -hmm. but I do want to say this: I don't. I'm hoping, Casey. I mean, just from your tweets and just your live uh, shows, I feel like what happened, what Sheila did. I feel like that is not the twist. I feel like um, Finn is possible. He still may be alive, uh, or at least I'm hoping that he is. I am hoping this is not the end of Finn, and the twist is he will be back. Um, but in what capacity, you know, I'm I'm unsure. I'm unsure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah. No. Uh, well, what, uh, what, how long have you been watching the show, Tori, Tori right? Uh, yeah. I've been, <laughs> I, I know everybody say this, but I have been there from, I have been with Bold since day one. Thank you. Or, Me too. Right. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long time, long time um, Bold fan. Um, I love it. I mean, I have mixed feelings. I have like a love hate relationship with Bold uh, because when it's good, it's good. And, you know, but, you know, you know, you, when you're passionate about something like that or a show like that, you have to love it. So I'm very passionate about it. With Sin, um, mm -hmm. been, you know, to have been watching Steffi go through everything that she has went through and to finally, have you know to bring in Finn, you know, being brand new, kind of like a version to it all. No, um, you know, he was he wasn't damaged. You know, he didn't have these uh, bags, and you know, he wasn't bringing anything tainted to the relationship. And he only had eyes for Steffi. So that's the saddest thing, you know, for a Steffi fan, because I was a Steffi fan first. So to see it go down, it's hard to accept that, you know, we won't see Finn again, because for the first time, I believe, and I'm pretty sure all Steffi fans will agree, for the first time, Steffi was, you know, in a solid place. It wasn't nothing... Um, Happy. Dramatic, you know. She was happy. Uh, yeah, she was happy. I you know, she was wasn't happy. one of those just. She was happy. Yeah, she was exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, and that is like that's so disturbing. It's like, oh my gosh! Thank you for saying that, Candace. Yes, yeah, she was happy, and it's like seeing this part of yeah. Steffi. I feel like fans, we haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. uh, this part of Steffi with, uh, mm -hmm. with Finn, because with Liam, it was always, uh, so much drama, even with Wyatt, it was so much drama. And then I'm not against steel fans. I mean, you know, I'm, oh, you know, it, it's like, eh, I'm kind of, you know, in between about steel, but it's still drama because, Wyatt and Liam is attached to mm -hmm. Bill, and also Katie yeah. is attached yep. to Bill. Mm -hmm. So, and I love Katie. I absolutely adore. Her. And you know, and Katie's been fighting with Brooke all her life for for Bill, and it's like, no, I don't even know if I want still. No. So it's disappointing, Casey. And I'm hoping you could, you know, could at least give me something 
can you give me a clue? Like, I mean, this can't be it. Like, I, I feel like I'm literally going through the five you know, stages of I, three. I, I gave some <laughs> clues when uh, Candace and Matt were here a while ago. And they really, I was reviewing some of the old episodes and they really painted me into a corner and I said yeah. some things and then those things went viral. And now those things are coming back yeah. to, to Wait, Casey, I can, I can say something. I, I can say something. I Go for it. Something. All I can say is, all I can say is keep watching Bold and find out what happens next. You don't want to miss a thing. I know. That was good. Okay. That was good. Okay. That's pretty, hey, Candace, that was good. You just gave me a little bit of, I'm telling you, I feel like I'm in a dark tunnel and you just gave me a little bit of light. Look, <laughs> trust me, I, I get, look, I'm going to be honest here. It's one of those things because I, I feel sometimes I, you know, everybody's like, okay, you got to pick a side, can't you go? I'm a Steffi fan too, like first. I'm a Brooke fan first. I'm a Taylor fan first and Hope, right? So I want all of these women to be happy. And I know they've been happy before, but they come with a lot of baggage. Rich comes with baggage, yeah. right? We all know this, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Liam, mm -hmm. let's be honest. If Bonnie Beautiful was baggage. to ever do this, like take a female that is half like Steffi and half like Hope and merge them together, that would be Liam's perfect woman, right? Okay, let's go there. Right, but right. With Bill, and I will say this because I'm learning. I'm learning, you guys. I did enjoy Bill and Steffi. However, again, he comes with some baggage. Okay. Baggage. But, yeah. And the thing is, he's never, I love that scene when Bill said, I've never been trying to be anybody else. I am my own person. I come as I am. Take me or leave me, and I will take him in a heartbeat. Anyway, <laughs> but with. Right. I ben, agree. Yeah, but then we have not seen him with anybody. We haven't seen him with a Hope, a Brooke, a Katie. He was fresh. And so to right. have somebody who doesn't know all of the drama right. and everything to fall for Steffi, who doesn't have to work as hard as she did with Oliver, because we got to remember Oliver, Liam. Yeah, well, yeah. She kind of had a moment of, Okay, this person we're connecting, and I don't have to do A B C D E F G. So, I I felt for compete, the first time like she was in a competition. Yeah, she didn't have to compete with anybody. In competition, <laughs> yeah. Now the only person she exactly. had to compete for. Now the only person that she had to compete with was Sheila. And that's right. Mm. 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 Now, but wait a go. minute, though, Candace. Wait a minute. On the Sheila note, though, I enjoyed. Well, I, you know the the last couple of uh, scenes. You know every the scenes that they had leading up to the shooting. Mm -hmm. I was actually hoping to get more of that. I was like, yeah, I can just do this all year. Mm -hmm. Like I can just. <laughs> that was the drama that I could have rolled with it, for Steffi. Well, I'm just because, uh, not okay. to cut you off, but I'm just gonna have to go back to what Candace says. Keep watching. Okay. I know, okay. I'm a I know nothing. I know nothing. Put that out there. I'm going to trust you guys. I'm, but before, because I, I know they have other callers. I've been on hold for a little while. I just want to say this. I was thinking, if I'm right, and Finn is alive, and they bring him bring him back, Steffi might have some type of, just a theory, Steffi might have some type of amnesia or something. And if they do decide to, if this is the case, Again, theory, and they bring Finn back. They're probably gonna bring him back and put him with another uh, character on the show. You know, and how would that? Because I was also thinking that. I mean, am I warm? Am I hot? Am I cold? Can you? <laughs> I. Since can, I would think some fans would think that would be worse than him being dead. If <laughs> at this moment. To put right. Finn with somebody else. I would else. rather him. Right. I would rather him. Okay. So that's confident to me because I would rather. I'm like, look, if you, if they're gonna take Finn, okay, I can. <laughs> don't give me Steen. Don't give me Liam. I mean, I could be okay. I can live with with Steel. Don't ever try to tell me Steam again. If they were to bring Finn back, if they were to bring Finn back, 
you know, I'm like, what would really hurt me, what would really be like, you know, kick me while I'm dead, is if you bring Finn back and put him with another character. If that were to happen, if that was even a thought, I would rather him just be gone from the show completely because oh, if they, oh. if Finn were to come back, it would have to be Finn and Finn only. Okay. And that's, okay. I got that's you. what I got. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, Tori, you have a wonderful weekend. See you later. <laughs> you too. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, well... <laughs> I think with that, we're running out of time here, guys. I'm going to have to, there's a lot of you on hold. I'm going to have to close the phone line. I'm sorry to have to do that. I know a lot of you have been on hold a long time, but I think, I think, um, I think uh, this was a, uh, a, 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 I, you know, I don't want to say a support so therapy. Group. Therapy. Yes. But a we're going to get through this together. Therapy. We're going to, we're a bold and beautiful family. And like all families, we fight. And uh, but at the end of the day, we love each other. And I think, you know, we're going to be okay. <laughs> we I will. Hope. There's, I hope. you know, uh, we will. We'll, be, we'll be good. We, I mean, look, it's, so, it's, it's, it's a soap opera. And the thing is, is that, and I think you said it earlier, that it's entertainment. And the thing is, is that, there was a lot going on in these couple of episodes that all of us was just like, did that just happen? Hold up, wait a minute. And you're going to have fans who are upset. Well, yeah, and I, okay, so I'm reading some of these comments and it's like, yes, I, I see questions on social media that I'm tagged in and stuff like that. And, but I can't answer them. Like some I can, some I can't. Uh, you know, you, but... you realize I was writing a whole list of all oh, the questions boy. that that was said on uh in the chat and also on Twitter. <laughs> Remember and, when I talked uh, about having a thirty-five hour um uh bold live yes, for the thirty-fifth anniversary? Yes. I think this probably yep. needed to be a thirty-fifth uh thirty-five hours. I, uh, I, I said I said I don't think an hour was going to be it. I, I said that. We might, well, you know, might as well do. do I really three appreciate you show. guys hanging out and, um, you know, working through this. <laughs> are, there, it together. are there any protesters outside the office right now? Uh, <laughs> I don't. Any, any the last office? time there were protesters was when uh, Thorne was recast, when Jeff Tractor oh. placed with Windsor Harmon. <laughs> oh, I know him. People know were Windsor. protesting yes. to keep Jeff Tracta. Like Jeff. Windsor, I know him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I don't know. I, had, I don't see any airplanes yet. <laughs> yet. Banner. Okay. Yeah. I've yeah. seen them for um, for Young and the Restless. I've seen planes with banners. <laughs> they yeah. did. They did do that. It, 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 <laughs> it's all about the fandom's love. Yeah. That tells you if you have a good couple, that means that you have fans who will fight well, for that. I do. I do have to wrap up the bold live here, but I'm gonna go over to my Instagram after this and um, talk about bold and other stuff. So uh, maybe I'll see some of you over there. Um, but Matt, Candice, thank you so much, and um, you Thanks. know, <laughs> let's do this again next week. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and thank you for the surprise. <laughs> thank you for the surprise with Kim. Oh, you got it. No problem. Yeah, Kimberlyn. She's amazing. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, everybody. Thank you so much. I do want to answer one question that I saw um, going by there. Today on The Bold and Beautiful, uh, there was the Steffi and Liam montage. Uh, there was a song that was being played called The Song That Never Played. And uh, that voice that you heard was Scott Clifton. He was singing that song. And um, that was a song I wrote back in 2016 with uh, my co-writer, Tony Ferrari, uh, we wrote that, um, and it was a s first aired during the 2016 Monte Carlo shows when uh, Liam was walking through Monte Carlo thinking about Steffi when she, at that point, was married to Wyatt. So that was a callback to um, that song, and it's called The Song That Never Played. So I just wanted to answer some of that questions there. Um, I will hang out for, like, three more minutes. Um, if you want to ask me any questions, I'll be happy to do that. I want to thank you all for hanging in there. Um, I think you've made this the most watched Bold Live in Bold Live history. So thank you all for doing that. Um, 
I know a lot of you have mixed feelings. And um, as you know, before I was a bold and beautiful producer, I was a fan of the show and I'm right there with you. I know it's, it's a tough job that, um, that I have, but I like interacting with you guys. I like hearing what you have to say. And I hope that we can, can keep that relationship going. Um, and, uh, and I've seen many messages. Yes. I've seen many messages throughout the show that say hashtag safe Finn. Um, and that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool for, um, for you guys showing that love for Tanner. Um, that's really, that, you know, like I said, without you, there is no bold and beautiful. So thank you so much. Um, let's see what some of you are saying as I wrap up. I'm sorry. There's no fan roll call. I mean, you don't really want me to say all your names, but I could, but it's, it's more exciting when the actors do it. But I, I feel I like to keep the consistency, but um, why can't you guys make the show an hour long? You know, uh, that's up to the network. Um, sin forever. Well, okay. Donna, Donna, Emily, Kelly, Tia, Mary, uh, Maryam, Gracie. Hey, Gracie, Eleanor, Cheryl, uh, Ronald, Mona, uh, Antonio, Doris, Can Can, T Brownie. Hannah, Mandy, Electrosoul, Renee, Tia, Shanti, uh, Stefan, Melissa, Michael, Kasingle, Amy, Soap Goddess, Mystic. I'm not as good as Darren Brooks, let me tell you. Uh, he was amazing. Esther, Nia, Delia, Erlen, Melissa, Mandy, Hannah, Kenneth. Um, wow, it's a, this is like about, I don't know if there were more, Cheryl, thank you so much. I don't know if there are more, uh, Still fans on here or Sin fans or Steam fans. Um, uh, Gina, I hope I'm saying that right. Jenna, Gina, Kyle, Mandy, uh, too many commercials. I agree. I know. I know it's, it's, it's not good, but that's what keeps the show on the air. T Brownie, what's the question? I don't know what the question was. Um, to, 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 to Colby. Let's see. Gracie, thank you. Marco. Marco, nice to, nice to hear from you. Th okay, Marco, next week, um, I'm going to have a, a special video that I'm going to make just for you, Marco, next week. Um... <clears throat> okay, well, we need a poll. Sin versus still. <clears throat> oh, Cheryl, that's nice. I'm I'm glad. You, hope you're doing better. Who's on the next Bold Live? Well, you know, we're still on hiatus for one more week. So the um, the actors are on spring break. So it's we're not in production. So it's a little harder to get the 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 talent, but I'm going to work on it for you. I just, I'm kind of seeing what the vibe is with all of you and who you guys want to see. So, um, that's how I kind of steer things toward sin nation. Oh, I like that name. Sin nation. That's a good name. Um, Saul, you're welcome. Oh, Melissa, 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 Melissa. Um, hashtag save Sheila. That, I mean, yeah, I, I, when it comes out, boy. All right. Moderator David, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to then just remind all of you to, uh, if I can find it here, I got to get this more organized. You can, you can, if you're new to the show, you can interact with me on Instagram. That's where I'm going to be after the show for a little bit. Take, um, hanging out, uh, at Casey Cass or on Twitter at Casey Cass. It's a crazy long name. All right. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and, um, that's where you'll get notifications when we go live and when we post all the videos and you'll be in the know. So be sure you do that. And at this time, we're going to close it out and I'm going to remind you all to continue to be bold, be beautiful. And be back next week when we continue the discussion and see what happens on our favorite show, The Bold and the Beautiful. 
Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. So that's it? That's it, Katie. We'll see you.